I'm here at the 2014 Cincinnati Mini Makers Fair with the Gorilla Glue Company, and I'm going to show you how to make this bent nail bottle opener. This is a great project to make. It uses uh, Gorilla's super glue, and it's a perfect gift. So let's get started. So the first step is you're going to cut a blank. Now the blank is six inches by one and an eighth by seven eighths inches thick. So once you've got your blank cut, you're going to trace a pattern onto the piece where you're going to cut out the outside shape. I'm just using a dark pen here to trace the pattern all the way around. So it looks like that. Next, we're going to mark the holes for the locations of the magnet, the string, and the nail hole. So using another blank, about one and a sixteenth inch in, mark the center there for your magnet. I'm going to mark a spot on the top, about three quarters of an inch in, right in the middle, doesn't have to be perfect. And then at the top, a half inch down, in the center, mark another spot for your nail hole. So once you've got your holes marked, we're going to come over here and we're going to drill the holes in. The first hole I'm going to drill is for the nail. Now this is using a 5 32nd inch bit. And I'm going to drill it in about an inch all the way down, making sure I'm nice and straight. Next, I'm going to drill the shallow recess for the magnet that's going to hold the bottle cap. And this is using a quarter inch uh, Forstner bit. I'm going to go in probably about 3 16ths of an inch. And then the last hole is for the loop for the string. And I'm going to use a quarter inch bit and drill all the way through the piece. So once all the holes are drilled, we're going to go over to a bandsaw or use a handsaw like a coping saw and cut out the basic shape. So this gives you a general idea of what that pattern looks like, fits in your hand. The next step will be to go over and start sanding the piece smooth just to get rid of some of the blade marks. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be sanding this a little bit more and filing it, but just to kind of clean up the edges a little bit and then we can start breaking the edges down and making it feel really comfortable in your hand. So once you've got the basic shape kind of laid out, we're going to then start to sand it and break the edges down with the file. So again, I'm going to start to make a little pattern around the outside here, around both edges which is where I'm going to file a 45 degree angle down along the whole surface. And you're going to do this around the entire outside edge of the bottle opener so you've got a good smooth surface. So go over here, you clamp it up, and I'm going to use a rasp. You can use a coarse sandpaper. And I'm going to start to cut this edge down at a 45 degree angle and start to make it nice and smooth. It only takes a few passes with a good file. Again, don't be afraid to shift your piece around. That makes it a lot easier to work all the edges. I'm also using a finer file to smooth it out a little bit more instead of having to sand over all of this. That makes the edge nice and round and smooth. You're going to repeat that process until you're at a stage where it's nice and even and smooth all the way around and then we're going to sand this with 150 grit sandpaper. The idea is you just want to get this nice and smooth and ready for finish. So the part that makes this extra special is you just use a nail. So I'm going to take a three inch long six penny nail, I'm going to cut it to about two inches, and then I'm going to bend it with some pliers to 90 degrees so you've got a piece like this. Now we're going to use Gorilla Super Glue. I'm going to put a little bit in the hole on the top, just to fill the hole. And I'm going to carefully place this in. And I'm going to pound it in just so it's flush at the bottom. So you've got that. So now that the nail's in, we're going to take the super glue and we're going to put a little bit in the hole where the magnet is going to go. Super glue is 
perfect for metal to wood applications. And you're just going to carefully slide the magnet in there and just let it dry for about 20 minutes. It only takes a few minutes to dry, but I'm just going to let it set there and it'll be ready to finish. So the next step is just to make the, uh, the loop. This is made with just a boot lace cut to 20 inches long. You're going to tie a knot and create a loop at the end, and you can melt the end so it doesn't fray. And this will be a loop that we'll put on after the piece is dried. We're going to now move on to the finishing. I'm going to use a, just a penetrating oil for this particular application. It only takes one coat, and I'm going to apply that right now. This is always the fun part because you get to see what the wood grain looks like when it's all done. Always the most satisfying part of any woodworking. So once that's completely coated, maybe you want to come back to it a couple of minutes and apply one more coat, but just let that sit and dry overnight. And once it's done, you take your boot lace and you string it through the bottom and you're ready to go. Now go crack open a beer.